Hello, today a noob does turning $120 of fantasy football winnings into $5,000 by reselling items. This is episode four of the series. If you haven't seen the first three, go ahead and watch them, but we'll go ahead and jump right into it here with the numbers. So at the end of episode three, I had $170.73. I sold a DVD VCR combo for 35 bucks. It was sold locally, so I got all $35, which gave us a new total of $205.73. I then went and spent this much money buying some stuff. I spent $1.50 on that bop it right there. I spent $3.29 on one of these games. I think it was this game here. Let's double check. Yes, $3.29 for baseball 2K10 PSP game. I know sports games aren't the best, but it was only $3.29 and it was a PSP game. So it goes for about $10 to $15. This goes for about twenty dollars, and like I said, it's only buck fifty, so that's pretty good. And then next, I spent three forty nine on this little game here. It's sealed, that's why I bought it. it goes for about fifteen twenty bucks. We'll see if we sell it, but since it was sealed, I thought it was worth the worth the chance there. Next, I spent five forty nine. That would be on this Hot Shot Paper Plane Kit. Once again, sealed. Goes for around 15 20 bucks as well. Thought I'd give that a try since it was sealed. I then spent $4.49, which was on this puzzle over here. The light's kind of reflecting in the way, but that's a 2,000 piece puzzle sealed, and that can go up to 40 bucks. So that's pretty awesome. There is a little bit of damage on the box, but it is sealed, so all the pieces are there, so we'll see what we can sell it for. Then I spent $9.79 on these Chuck Taylors here. Really good shape, so size 10 men. They do say Dakota on the side, like embroidered or, uh, yeah, I think embroidered is the right word. But they can sell for $40, $50, $60, just depending. They're in really good shape. They do say Dakota, so maybe that'll knock the price down a little bit, or maybe it'll increase it if we find someone named Dakota that wants them. But... For $9.79, couldn't pass them up. We didn't. We then spent $14.79 on this motorcycle boots here. When I saw these, you can see they're $14.79. I knew I had to pick these up. They are. They do have a little bit of scuffs here. I haven't cleaned anything up yet. I'm sure they'll clean up all right. Not much wear. Let's look at this side here. And when I searched for these. I wasn't able to find them right away while I was in the store, but I saw that they were other similar ones were going for like 80 to 100 bucks. So I was able to find those. They retail for like 150. Might be able to get $80 for those for less than about $15. So super excited with those. And that brings our current balance to $162.89. As you can see, I still have the squish malls back here. Which brings me to my next point. If you watched episode 3, you know I purchased those in episode 3. I haven't even listed them. I haven't cleaned them. I haven't taken the tags off. I have been dragging my feet in this challenge. Just in reselling in general. Now if you were to watch my last video that I uploaded to my channel. Not the last video episode in this challenge. But the last video I uploaded to my channel. I talked about making reselling passive. And the way I plan on doing that is getting a booth in an indoor swap meet type of thing and putting my stuff there because what you do there is you pay them a monthly fee but then you can stack up your space with as much stuff as you want price it and then everybody purchases through the cashier there so you don't have to answer any questions about them really you don't have to accept the payments or ship or package they just get sold like it's a store so that's what I plan on doing I still think I'll list most of this stuff on eBay because I have it now and I don't have that spot. Those spots in this swap meet that I'm, I'm thinking about take a while to come open. But when they do, I'm planning on getting one. I'm planning on selling my Funkos that I have. Not for this challenge, but I have a bunch of Funkos. I have a bunch of video games I'm planning on selling there. And then anything I get for my reselling challenge. Because 
I've realized that reselling is not passive. It's fun. I enjoy buying the stuff. I enjoy when it sells, but it takes a lot of time. You should watch that video I made about making reselling passive. I go into that in a little bit more detail. But my whole channel, my whole goal with this channel, A Noob Does, is to find passive, maybe semi-passive, at worst, income streams. And reselling is not that. As many YouTube channels as there are about reselling, a lot of it is more like a full-time job. But anyways, this is where we're at in currently in the challenge of turning $120 into $5,000. i am excited about a lot of these. I've been seeing other resellers sell these bot bits, and so when I found that, it was actually listed for like $350, and, but the color of the tag was half off for that day, so I ended up getting it for buck fifty. Then I found some sealed stuff, which I see a bunch of resellers getting, and these boots. I'm really excited about those boots. So I will push through, get these all listed. I'm probably not going to reach my goal before the next fantasy football season starts at $5,000, but I'm not going to give up. I'm going to see how long it takes me personally especially with my reselling work ethic, if you want to call that, being kind of lackadaisical. But this is where we're currently at. That puzzle right there, that was a personal purchase. So that one over there. But this is what we have now. And we still have $162.89 to go buy more stuff. So if we can get this sold, keep moving up the, keep moving up the ranks of money. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And see you in the next one.